this video, I'll be venturing deep into the wilderness of Tasmania's cool temperate rainforest to search for shiny gold nuggets. This river I'll be visiting has proven time and time again to deliver amazing gold, and thanks to its remoteness, it has long been guarded from the advancements of the modern day prospector. Last trip here, I found good gold panning, but surprised myself when I found multiple unworked crevices, which I was able to snipe totaling in over 22 grams for my two days work. This time I'll be packing a sluice box and plan on working some of the crevices that are otherwise unsnipeable. Yep, it'll be another awesome trip filled with insane gold, but the most amazing find of the trip. Oh, oh that's crazy. The old time is Well, you'll just have to wait to see. So this is the sluice box that I've got. It's a one meter length, which is the maximum size you can have in Tassie. And it's just got like the standard riffles with like a cheap dream mat underneath it to catch any of that finer gold. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. So I'm all geared up now, ready to go. Just gonna have this hot chocolate because it's bloody cold. It's the middle of summer and it's 13 degrees today. Super overcast. But um, yeah, we're gonna head downstream. Got the sluice, yabby, pickaxe, mask. Um, I wanna check a couple of the cracks that I worked here last time with a better torch to see if there's anything left over in them. And then continue to head downstream and try to find somewhere with good heavy gravels to put some of this gear to use. Coco done. Let's go and find some gold. This is really this is really strange, but I do not remember any of this being exposed when I was here last. <sighs> I'm gonna have to try that. There was one day of really heavy rain. It was 100 mil one day since I've been gone in the last few weeks. But I'm not sure if that's enough to expose a new area like this. As you can see, this bedrock is a great trap for gold. The folds and crevices provide the perfect hiding place for gold to sit in. But in the center where the highest flow is, it appeared to have been flushed clean. I guess it is enough because I just moved a couple of the really light gravels on top and there's a bit of gold sitting right there. This is all new, all of this exposed bit. This whole bedrock sheet, so we'll see what I can find in here. Wow. A 
minute later and we'd found our first picker. Moving my way forward in the pool, the bedrock got even better when I hit a caught stringer, providing sharp, crunchy traps for the gold to land in. So sure enough, there was actually gold in there. Um, little tiny bits, awesome traps, but not a lot of gold, just a, just a little bit. And uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time here because it is quite small. Although I did always consider this stretch for a couple hundred meters barren of gold. So it is interesting that there is some gold here. Anyway, we'll continue heading downstream. Working downstream close to the rapids, it was almost instantly I found some nuggety gold sticking out the side of a crack. This would prove to be the easiest gold nuggets I've ever found. So I've just popped my head in here below this little rapid here and I found a little nugget. Let's have a look at it. Yes, such an awesome start. I'm already a winner and I'm like half hour in. So good. Digging deeper, I could not believe what was hiding in this tiny crack. That is so good. Oh, I can't believe this. Two, this is a tiny little crack and it led to another tiny little crack like that's half the size of a fist to just that little area. There could be so much more under here that's just been overlooked. Wow.
So I've just come back to change the battery on my mask because I'm working a crevice and I didn't realize the extent of it. I thought, oh, there's a little bit of gold here, but there's not much to work. So I won't bother changing the dead battery. And it's just been consistent. Like I reckon I've pulled about two or three grams out of it. And I'm just getting down to the bottom of it. I thought it was a clay bottom, but it's actually like a, a quartz underneath it. And there's good chunky pickers and stuff coming out, so I'll change the torch too. Oh, it's been like such a good start. I've been in the water for about two hours and basically haven't moved much from this initial pool right near the camp, but I've racked up a little bit of gold. Um, yeah, easily a few grams. I'll get back in there now that I've got a GoPro and we'll see what else we can pull out of it. You might have noticed in this video I've decided not to use any background music other than at the start of the introduction due to the fact that I've had so many people comment recently how they believe the music ruins it. So after you've watched this video I'd really appreciate it if you could let me know what you think in the comments below. By the way this clip as I was editing it I just had to leave it in its entire length it's just It'll never cease to amaze me the crazy places where gold will find itself getting trapped and embedded. And I just couldn't edit this clip. It's so satisfying watching gold get plucked out of weird spots. So enjoy. To anybody who says my videos are fake, you try putting that in place.
case you're wondering, this is still that exact same single clip, totally uncut. As the day got older, I tried a few other different spots, finding the odd piece here or there. This was a nice nugget. That's crazy. I found a nugget, not, not in that spot. It was under the waterfall where I was working last time, but I must have missed it because I didn't have this good torch that can see a lot better. We'll scratch him out. It looked pretty good, like probably at least half a gram. Might have overhyped that. I saw it on its side like that. It's been ours. Anyway, still a good piece. Well, it's seven o'clock now, so it's time to head back to camp. I didn't make it very far down the river. Only the same spot I was at last time, but uh, I'm not going to argue, wicked gold still, so it's time to head back and make some tucker. I'm going to leave all this stuff here because I found some sweet crevices here on the way up. can't really see them that well but they run up the side here they haven't been worked and uh, there's good gold all along here so I might set the sluice up here tomorrow in the morning and uh, work some of these gravels that I haven't been able to snipe oh, so hard to talk when your lips have been in cold water for the last seven hours Okay, so I'm back at camp now, and uh, I am charging my GoPro batteries, so uh, we'll be able to get back to normal filming soon and stop using my phone, but it's time to go and have a look at what we got today. Bit of gold showing already, bloody hell. What did I say before we left? I think I said we'll, we'll go and get quarter, uh, half an ounce, I think I said. Oh, so hard to see. It's all dark. Hope I'm not losing any gold. 
Might just call it at that. Yeah, wow. <clears throat> well, that there is what it looks like. Check out this awesome little piece. Reminds me of some sort of logo, maybe the Adidas backwards or I don't know. But it's definitely very unique. Cool bit. It's got to be, could be a gram there nearly, I reckon that one. Another nice chunk. I was pretty lucky today. I got a few little baby nuggets. Probably got, yeah, half a dozen little baby nugs. All of those ones. And then the piece of the day. And a handful of change. I'm just amazed at this run that I had last trip and this trip, like still got tomorrow too, could do the exact same again and potentially even beat the last trip, which I just thought would be damn near impossible. I am um, waiting for the time when I leave here empty handed, but probably not going to happen anytime soon. Let's see what else we got in the pantry over here. We got some ravioli, noodles, and some beans. In the next episode, we'll head back downstream and try out the sluice box resulting in some amazing gold. We'll continue to work the river more and more gold nuggets will be found. And I uncover some amazing lost history hidden away for over a hundred years oh. in what I consider oh. to be the no find way. of the trip. Oh, that's crazy. Can't believe I just saw that. I just saw the face of it. Oh, there's heaps of stuff here.